Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem B from Educational Court Forces Round 91, Universal Solution. Okay, so you are given that you recently you found a bot which plays rock, paper, scissor and the bot uses a string as an output. So as you can see, the string is S1, S2, which is just uh, like rock, paper, scissor. Okay, so now what the bot did did is he can choose any of the static positions in the string in any of the rounds you played with the bot. So as you can see, let, let's assume that there's a string of size 100. So in one round, the, the bot can start using the indices from like the index 52. And it will do use all the indices in the circle. So if it goes out of bound, it will start from this first. I hope you understand because let's assume that, okay, so this is a string. Okay, so now let's assume the bot chooses the start. So the bot stores this string in its system. And then like when you start playing with the bot, the bot can start from any of the index. So let's assume you start from like this index, the zeroth index, and you play four rounds with the bot. Okay, so the bot will choose the answer as rock, paper, paper, scissor. But let's assume that the bot can also start from this position. And then the bot will answer output as paper, scissor, rock, paper. Okay, so that's the four rounds you will play. So you, you will have to play like n rounds with the bot. And the bot can start at any other positions. So what you'll have to do here is you plan to play n rounds. And you already figure out the string. So you have the string. But what you'll do here is you will also make a string to win the rounds. But you cannot win all the rounds. Okay, so what you'll do here is you will make a string such that the average over all the strings, so such that if you made a string output, so as you can see for this RRR, let's assume that, or like for this rock, scissor, paper, you made the same string, rock, scissor, paper. Okay, so what you will do here is, when you find out the wins in all the cases, okay, so like the bot start from index one, the index two, index three, and so on, then for all the N wins, you will do an average out of all the wins upon the total number of games you played and you want to make this as maximum as possible. I hope you understand the logic or like not the logic, the question for part first. So that's the whole question. So let's assume start with this example. If it's like rock, scissor, paper, if you made this string as the output also, then if you play the first game and the bot start from the first position, you will not win any of the game because for rock, you will play rock. So it's just a draw. Scissor for scissor, paper for paper. So the wins is zero. But for the next round, the bot will start from scissor, paper, rock. And you will do rock, scissor, paper. And then in this game, you will win all the three games. And the last, you will not win any game. So the output is just three over three, which is one, which is the maximum possible you can find out. But as you can see, now my first intuition is you will win all the three cases in this example. But if I just find out the optimal answer, if I just find out the optimal answer, then it will win in that case. Optimal means that for rock, I will put paper, for scissor, uh, rock, paper, uh, and then scissor, I will put paper, uh, sorry, rock, and for paper, I will put scissor. So I'm just putting out the optimal answers, and then that can also form a string. And in that, I will also win three rounds. And if I win three rounds, then the answer is like three. But, and also for the top. That comes to my mind first. So just output the optimal answer. But then one thing strike to me is that if I just put the optimal answer, then that optimal answer is the best for the first condition only. For the first state in which I use the optimal answer, I will win all the games. Okay, against the whole computer, I will win all the games. But I have to find out the average. I don't have to win in the first place only. Okay, they can be something that I win I will win small small in all the games and the average out will become greater if I just win in one game. I hope you understand because if I win a large amount in the first game and then zero in the all the rest games, but if I win some small 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 in all the games, then the average will always be like it can become bigger also. Okay, so now if I want to win small small in all the games, then how can I definitely win? Like how can I pick a strategy that I will always win some amount in all the games. Okay, so 
then i will first understand that that's not the optimal thing to just put out the for rock just put out like paper for paper just put out scissor scissor and for scissor put out rock that's not the optimal way okay because if you shift that answers then you will not win or you might win in some games like one or two games but not for all games so that's not the optimal solution but now next thing is if you know some type of cryptography if you are given some of the string for to encrypt in cryptography you have to you will find out the frequency of every character and you will check that if some character appear a lot of time you will try to place that character with some known language character which means that or uh, what i actually meant here is for the whole string if i count out how many rock how many paper and how many scissors are there in the whole string then you can easily just make the whole string as the output which is just defeating the maximum number of cases in the original string because let's assume it is paper so for paper i can make a string of scissor four string of scissors now if the computer chooses any of the conditions then i have all the scissors and it is guaranteed that i will win two games in all the chances okay if i win two game in all the chances it will like 2 plus 2 plus 2 four times okay divided by total number of games and that's the maximum possible so why it is giving the maximum possible answer is because we are not generalizing our we are not like giving out a solution for a specific case we are generalizing and for generalizing what what we have done here is we have seen that for all the cases we have find out the maximum number of uh like character which is repeating and for maximum number of case which is repeating we have just find out the optimal answer for that case and put the whole string equal to that case such that whenever that case appears in all the string because that string will appear in all the cases that that character will appear in all the cases and thus we will always win and because it is the maximum we will always win the maximum number of chances in all the games okay and thus that's the whole trick for that question i'll take it on to the code part now so the code is also very simple what you can do you can make a like a vector of size 3 then you will iterate over the whole string which is in the input count how many so not count how many rock paper or scissor like for rock see what is the like what is the defeating part for rock it is paper okay so if i have made a vector which is stores that the first the first stores the frequency for rock the second for paper and third for scissor so if the first character in the string is rock then i want that in the final answer we want more like paper okay so what we will do in the paper because af1 stores the paper the paper frequency shall increase okay i hope you understand because in the final answer we want to check that what is the maximum number of value we will give such that we will win so if there is more rock we will put more papers in the solution if there is more paper we will put more scissors in the solution if there are more scissors we will put more rocks in the solution and after all this we will put a vector of like pair of integer and character so the first part will show the frequency and the second part will store what is the character rock paper and scissors i've just put it here then sort this because if, if after sorting i will get which is the maximum character we have to output in the answer and then we will output for all the n characters we will output the second part which is the character itself the second frequency if the frequency is maximum for every frequency we will get that what is the maximum character we have to output the maximum character will give us the whole string we have just output the whole end string for that character which is the most the most occurring character we have to find out the defeating part for that most most getting out character and that's the answer i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please go through the code and if you still have any doubts please mention it in the comment box thank you for watching this video i'll see you next time keep coding bye